Hello everybody, welcome to Linuxin.com YouTube channel. Today we're gonna show you how to work with bash until loops. So previously we have seen while loops in bash. So today we're gonna talk about until loop, right? So loops are one of the fundamental concepts of programming languages. Loops are handy when you want to run a series of commands over and over again until a specific condition is met. In scripting languages such as bash, Loops are useful for automating repetitive tasks. There are three basic loop constructs in bash scripting. One is for loop, other one is while loop, and the third one is until loop. The idea is that in the while loop, the condition remains true and it keeps on executing, right? As soon as the condition becomes false, the while loop breaks itself, right? But in the case of until loop, it is entirely the opposite. As long as the condition remains false in until loop, until loop keeps on executing. And as soon as the condition becomes true, the until loop breaks itself. So simple is that. So now let's go ahead and see the syntax of this until loop. We'd write here nano, we'd go to our script file. And here you can see that we have echo hello world, which is of course a bash script. So here you're gonna write here until, then you're going to write here brackets and inside these brackets, you're going to write here a condition. All right. So then you're going to write here do and then you're going to write here command. Sorry. All right. So here you could have command one. Here you could have command two and so on and so forth. Okay. So here you could have multiple commands. All right. So what this is basically the until loop. All right. But in order to finish it, you have to write here done, okay? So that is fairly simple. This is the basic syntax of until loop. Until and unless this condition remains false, it would keep on executing these commands. And as soon as this condition becomes true, it will abandon the loop, okay? So let's go ahead and let's do a very simple example to find out if it is true, whatever we are talking about, right? So let's just go ahead. Let me just remove all of that. Now I'm going to define a variable here and let's call that variable I. Okay. And we're going to initialize that variable and we're going to put it equals to zero. We come to the next line and now here we're going to write here until. Okay. And then we're going to write here big bracket. So after writing brackets here, Inside these brackets, you're going to write a condition here. Okay, so let's say that we write a condition with res respect to the I variable and make sure that you give a space here. Okay, we have discussed this phenomena in our previous video where, where we have discussed bash if statements. So if you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch that video. Check that out uh, in which we have discussed in detail. All right, this bracket thing. So now you're going to put here a condition, uh, let's say GT, which is greater than, all right? And then we write here five. So the idea is that we all know that zero is not greater than five. So it is a false statement. So until loop really likes false statement. So it is going to execute whatever is inside of it until and unless the GT, the greater than the I becomes five, all right? So it is going to execute that until this condition becomes true. Like, you know, the number here would actually be greater than five. So that is the only phenomena. That is the only point where this until loop is going to break. So let's go ahead and we're going to write here do. All right. So now I'm going to write here an echo statement and I'll basically print that I out that whatever the value of I we want to know. And then finally, uh, we're going to have a counter here as well because we want to move I forward. All right. If we don't do that, this until loop is going to run forever, right? Because the condition will remain false forever, right? That's why. So let's go ahead and let's try something that would actually ultimately make this condition true, right? So for that, we'll just have here uh, double brackets. And inside of that, I would have uh, I variable and I would have here plus plus. This is basically an increment operator which would increment this thing. Okay, so now uh, what you do is that you come here and you write here done. Okay, so now we are done basically. This entire loop is done, it's written. Now we basically save it. Press control O on nano editor. 
hit enter and it would be saved press ctrl x you would come out of that nano editor so if you want to assure if you want to make sure that the file whether it is written or not so you could just go ahead again and you can see that file is there and it has been saved perfectly okay i press ctrl x come out of the nano editor and in here now i'm going to run my script okay so in order to run your script what you have to do is that you have to write here dot slash and then world.sh which is essentially the script name okay this is the bash script so hit enter and you can see that it is printing out 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay actually this world file is not on the one that I'm using from my desktop uh, this word file is from uh, my home directory right so my present directory is home directory you can see and if I ls here you can see that we have world.sh here as well okay so this one here is a different file uh, we are actually using this file okay that is inside my home directory all right so now let's just nano it uh, and go inside the file and let's see what's happening here so in the first iteration what has happened that i was equal to zero so zero is greater than five it's false it would come here print zero increment it now i has become one it would come here in the second iteration it would check if one is greater than five of course it is false it is going to repeat the process then two check again repeat the process three check again repeat the process four check again repeat the process five check again of course five is not greater than five right so this statement is still false uh, i has become six okay five now has become six so six is greater than five yes it is true so it would break down and it would not run until loop anymore so until and unless this i was five this condition was false and until loop was running so if we come out of here and if we run our script here okay hit enter you can see that it is only printing out until 5 okay because until and unless the condition was false it was printing out so i until its value was 5 it was false right so that's why it has printed out till 5 if you would have put a condition here there i greater than 6 then it would have printed out here 6 right so let's go ahead and let's do that right away okay so instead of 5 we have here 6 save it come out of here run the script again and you can see that now until loop has you know gone till 6 why because at 6 the condition was still false as soon as it became 7 the condition became true and until loop would, won't run anymore. All right, so that's it from this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. You might have noticed that I have put a lot of effort into it and I have repeated things over and over and over again just so that you could understand it better. Okay, so for written articles, you can always visit our website edxhint.com. If you have liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching.